everybody, it's Wednesday the 13th, which means it's the middle of the week. Probably one more day until lots of you go back to work tomorrow. Yay! Alert level two tomorrow. It also means it's hump day and that there's two official homeschooling days left. School goes back on Monday. School goes back on Monday. It's very exciting. Um, but today is not about that. Today I am bringing you a video from Ursula Carslin who is a New Zealand comedian, originally from Africa. Um, she's absolutely hilarious on normal circumstances. And admittedly, I still find it very funny today because I'm one of those people, you know, your friend comes, they want to tell you something relatively serious, like saying that they've just been diagnosed with breast cancer and uh, you find yourself under a little bit of pressure. What is the right thing to say? Um, well, I probably not the right person to tell you what the right thing to say is, but what I can do with the help of Ursula is tell you what not to say. How was the, um, you know, the boob thing? Do you know? Um, well, it wasn't the news that I wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. I do need surgery and probably chemo as well. Ooh. Yeah. Oh no, exactly okay, okay, just calm down. Oh, Say the right things. Don't panic, don't let her see it in your eyes. She needs some advice from me. This is why she's here. Something helpful. What have I read? What have I seen online? I'll say something clever. Oh, deal. oh wow. Yeah. Still, gotta stay positive. Keep your chin up, you know. Can't be down about it. It's not gonna help, is it? You know what? You shouldn't just get a partial mastectomy, you should get a double. Get them both off. Honestly, get both chopped off. You don't want to look like a weird unicorn. This is one boob on the side, unless they can move it to the middle, but even that's weird. Both off. I say both off. So if you're lucky, they can use your own bits to refill your boob. Get a tummy tuck and a boob job at the same time. Look 20 years younger. Lucky. I'm really envious of the time of work you'll have. Actually, my auntie died of breast cancer. Whew. Quick too. You have to wonder though. What causes it? Because you drink a lot out of the plastic bottles. They could do it. I read, if you have a lot of stress where you bottle up your emotions, they can bring it on. Because it's right there, isn't it, in your chest, where you hold your emotions. That's probably it. You do hold on to things, don't you? Probably brought it all on yourself by not just letting go. You can make it. You can push through. I would never do chemo. It is so toxic. You don't even know what's in there, and they're putting it into your body. Be strong. You know what you need? You need these. Don't go for that pesticide stuff. You don't want to buy it where they just spray. They spray everything. Have it. Kale. 14 kilos of kale a day. Like you're going to have to start a garden probably. Turmeric. Really good. Pulls out all of the toxins out of your body. You get some coconut oil, rub it on your boobs. Then you take the turmeric and you rub it all over and it just pulls. What is she talking about? Can she hear what she's saying to me? Oh, now you're going full crazy. She's going full crazy on me. You know, I just need some support right now, not a curry recipe. God, she's just saying everything wrong. Feel this, and you just put it under every armpit. Uh, can, can, I, can I just stop you there? <laughs> everything you have just said to me has made me feel worse. I mean, you're saying to me, you'll be fine, but actually I don't know if I will be fine. And, and it just makes me feel that, like I can't be honest with you and I can't tell you what I'm feeling. The worst thing you just said to me is that it's kind of my fault, the situation. Like I've caused it myself by drinking out of plastic bottles, by being too negative. I'm not going to feel positive all the time. I am going to be down. The truth is not that much is known about the specific causes of breast cancer. And I've got a, a great team of medical professionals that are helping me move forward on this. So Probably stick with the experts. Yeah. yeah. Also telling you about my auntie that died of breast cancer was probably not, not great. It's not one of your best moments, no. Yeah. She was 104. I probably should have mentioned that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I love it when you make me laugh. I will need that. You know, I'm here for you. I've got your back. Doctors can have your front. <laughs> We've got you covered. Cool. Cookie? Cool. Friends again? Well, isn't that an interesting video? Not sure if you want to laugh, cry, or cringe. Some interesting notes out of it though. Let's not be uh, rubbing turmeric on our breasts and let's not blame our friends for getting breast cancer because they were drinking out of plastic bottles.
that was a that was um that was an interesting one but hey look i am definitely one of those people i say the wrong thing i mean well but i say the wrong thing i would love if you've ever been in this situation you've been the recipient of some of these comments i'd love to hear from you i'd love to hear what you would love to hear what are the right words i came to you and you were telling me that you've got breast cancer what is it you want me to say not me personally but everybody else because i think we'd all love a little guidance in this because we don't know it's kind of unknown territory really isn't it um, so please comment underneath. We'd love to hear from you. Tomorrow I'm going to share. Uh, well, look, tomorrow was supposed to be my actual event in Cromwell, where I was hoping to stand up in front of 200 plus people and share the glory of the last 10 years of what's actually happened and raise some some money. And when I say some money, a shit ton of money. But that's not going to happen, and so that's okay. I'm, I'm, I have dealt with this, and I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm joking. I am fine. Um, I will share images from last year of what it looked like, I guess, giving the, the, the feeling of what it was potentially going to look like this year. So we're going to walk down memory lane a little bit for tomorrow. We will see you then. Bye.